The Queen has arrived. Behold Her Majesty! The following contest is an Extreme Rules match. Making his way to the ring from the Queen City, weighing in at 144 pounds, Charlotte! Well, I think we can all make a very strong argument that Charlotte Flair is Miss WrestleMania. A title the Queen has earned from breaking Asuka's streak to the first ever women's main event, winning the NXT title. There's nothing the Queen can't do on the grandest stage of them all. What a presence. When you talk about the mountaintop in this business, you are talking about Charlotte Flair. Truly in a league of her own in WWE and showing no signs of letting up. Here we go, guys. And his opponent from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 286 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Brock the Beast. The Beast, the Conqueror, the Mayor of Suplex City, Brock Lesnar has earned every nickname bestowed upon him. The most decorated combat athlete in the world, gracing WWE with his presence. Someone's gonna take a trip to Suplex City. Yeah, that's almost guaranteed. Brock Lesnar is ready for a fight. This is a match where these WWE superstars take it to the max, to the extreme. There are no rules. As an agent of chaos myself, I've always had a little bit of a soft spot in my heart for extreme rules. Well, there's no question that extreme rules is in a category all by itself. Well, some people look forward to Halloween. Some look forward to New Year's Eve. Me, personally, I look forward to every extreme rules match on our shows. Getting set up for something in the corner. Counters with an attack on Charlotte. Down with a suplex. Go behind. Jordan, nine! He's able to fend off the attack. And he heads out of the ring. No count outs, no worries. A light tube? He's gone mad. That's the only way to explain it. Oh, no. That's glass. That's piercing glass exploding all over the place. What a German suplex. That move was a thank you shot to the so-called benevolent queen. Counter by Charlotte. 
right back with a reversal. Oh, my gosh. And Charlotte can't find an answer for these attacks. Just another day in the office for the Beast Incarnate. Paint a picture for me, Corey. Hypothetically, what are some tactics you'd use to win an ODQ match? Well, I'd stash some kendo sticks beforehand. Maybe have a buddy waiting to give me a much-needed hand. Maybe throw Saxton like a fastball special. That's the beauty of a no disqualification match. You can do all that and not get dinged. The sky is the limit. Headlock applied, toss their opponent. Just got thrown around like a sack of do you know what. Lesnar just showing his brute strength. Just another insane display of power. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Really just laying it in. What are we about to see? Ah, crush a hamstring. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. He's absorbed some damage already. Take it out the knee! Oh, man. That'll destroy your ligaments. Oh, no. We've never seen anything pretty when a dog back gets involved in a match. Charlotte turning the tide to her favor. We've hardly ever seen Lesnar in this alone state. Slam sets things up. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. He's looking for something. This could get dangerous. If you're going to grab a kendo stick, you uh -oh. Dragon Sleeper applied. This could be it. Oh, his will is getting tested here. Firing up those shots. Not having much effect at this time. It works.